Hello, and once again, welcome to Peter's Marine Service. Again, I'm your host, Ted, and today I'm going to show you a new addition to our lot, a 2003 Baja 20 Outlaw. This 20 Outlaw was introduced back in around 2003 as a great entry-level Baja boat that will hit that special speed mark of between upper 50s to about 60 miles an hour. And it does that with a 5-liter fuel-injected engine, so 260 horsepower at the prop. But you can see the sleek styling of this 20-foot 20, 20 boat. Nice closed deck look to it. Two-tone Jelco graphic with the, the red here in this case. You can see it's sitting on an Eagle trailer, but keep in mind that's not part of the pricing schedule that we'll have. Please give us a call and we'll go over the details with you. What's nice about this boat here is it comes with a cockpit cover which snaps down right to the top here. And notice the windaway visors up there on the deck. I'll point them out more closely when we get inside. In the back here, we have a bolt-on fiberglass swim platform, which features a nice three-rung drop-down ladder. Comes up and fits neatly over the back of the boat. Stainless steel propeller that's on here also. Steel skeg guard. And this was not even an option, but the previous owner put trim tabs on here to really enhance the performance of the boat while underway. Nice addition to the boat. Through hull exhaust is also here as well. This boat has a nice rumble out on the water. It's, it was Baja's entry level product into their lineup, but by no means was it anything but a Baja. This thing was nice. Nice sound, nice performance, and nice overall. And I'll show you that once we get inside. I'm going to hop in the back of the boat here. And as I'm going up the back, I notice here the stainless steel ski toe eye right here on the back. Uh, you could also do a lot of water sports with this also, whether it be skiing or tubing. Easily hook up right here and you're all set to go. Once up on the deck of the boat, you'll notice the sun pad that's here also. Also notice the extra uh, touches that Baja did. Nice. Uh, different colors in incorporated into the sun pad here. This has the flame look to it. Nice feet piece. But as far as for laying out and catching some rays, you can see this sun pad's very large. Two people can easily lay here and be quite comfortable. Down inside the boat, you can see, get you an idea, depth. Nice and deep inside here. Plus there's plenty of room for four others, or three others to sit across the bench seat. Two more here in the cockpit. Uh, six people could be comfortable in this boat for a cruise across the water. A nice feature about this, this seat here also is it does open up, and there's plenty of storage underneath here also if you wanted to take along some gear and things like that. While we're back here, I'll point this out as well. Here's your lid for your engine compartment. Stays up by itself, comes right up. And here you can see the fuel-injected V8 engine. Again, 260 horsepower at the prop. This boat's also equipped with a fire suppression system. Batteries located on that side. And plenty of room if you wanted to mount maybe some other things inside here. Place to keep life jackets and whatnot. Plenty of room. Just for my boat, I'd probably put a couple of egg crates in here and put my extra gear inside those. Anchor storage is located right here. Snaps right into place. That's very easy to go up and down with. In the cockpit here, the carpet's in very good shape. It's a snap-in carpet. Underneath here is a fiberglass liner. So if you didn't want the carpet in, take it out, and it's easy to keep clean also. Speaking of the condition of the carpet, uh, the, the, the vinyl condition is very good also. Uh, outside of maybe a couple of very light abrasions and things, the interior is in very good shape uh, for a 2003. Uh, I don't see any cuts. I don't see any tears. It all looks good. No stains or whatnot. At the helm, it's a nice, nice position here. I can easily get my feet here up on the on the raised portion of underneath, so I can kind of wedge myself into the the driver's seat. Also, for performance, feel a separate shift in throttle. So, you know, it is a it's a 20 foot boat with a five liter, but it gives you the the sport characteristics of a much larger boat. Trim for your outdrive is located right here on the steering wheel, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel to adjust the trim. That's right here, and your trim tab buttons are right there. There's only about 150 hours on the engine. Your gauges are right here, easy to read. It's even got a depth finder right up here. But again, everything's nice and easy. 
when I mentioned the wind away feature, the visors when we were outside the boat, they're located right here. And if you get into some, uh, start going fast, you want to get the wind up over your head, these do a nice job of keeping the wind up over your head so your body's not in that, that wind stream. That's a nice feature on top of here. CD player is located inside here, AM FM CD player, right up there on the dashboard. And there's a 12 volt receptacle right alongside of that. Cup holders all around, so you got plenty of room to put those things. Under here also, I have pictures online, might be hard to see, but there is also a custom bunk. This was not standard uh, with, with the Baja. This was custom made upholstery that's here. Normally underneath here was just plain fiberglass, but the previous owner had these nice cushions made. So now if you wanted to overnight on the boat, at least you have a place to do that as well. Well, there you have it. Uh, apologize for the, the voice issue there, but this is a very nice boat, certainly worth taking a look at. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Again, my name is Ted. Thank you for watching.